hey everybody how's it going welcome back to a new video so a friend of mine picked up the seagate expansion portable hard drive four terabytes in capacity and i thought before giving this back to him i'd do a review so in this video we will check out the file transfer speeds of this hard drive then we will check the compatibility of this hard drive with a mac and then i will show you how to check for bad sectors but first let's do the unboxing Okay, so this is the box in which the hard drive comes in, so you get expansion, portable hard drive for your PC. Let's take a quick look at the back, add-on storage for your PC. Hmm. Now one thing that concerns me is that it does not say that it is compatible with the Mac. So I've got my Western Digital hard drive. This one says compatibility Windows 10 8.17 reformatting required for Mac OS, but it does not say anywhere on this hard drive that this will work with a Mac, but I think it will. We will test this out on Mac. So don't worry about that. And we've got a seal over here. So let me take the hard drive out and we will check out the box contents. So inside the box, you get the USB 3 cable, you get the hard drive itself, and then you have some documentation. And the size of the hard drive is very similar to the 4TB WD My Passport hard drive. Actually, the My Passport is slightly smaller in length. And guys, I have already done a review of the WD My Passport hard drive. So if you want to check out that review, I'll put the link on the top right hand side corner of this video. Also, just like the Western Digital hard drive, you just cannot slip this inside your pocket and walk away. The hard drive itself is quite thick and it weighs around, let's check. So it weighs around 225 grams. So this is definitely not a pocketable hard drive and this one should weigh a little bit more. So this one is 244 grams. The WD hard drive does seem a little bit well built compared to this one. I've also noticed that the top plastic casing of the Seagate hard drive does have a little bit of flex to it. So if you do put a little bit of pressure, see how the plastic caves in. And this does not happen on the Western Digital hard drive. So the plastic on the WD hard drive is a little bit more rigid and solid. So I guess that 20 grams of plastic does make a little bit of difference but inside the hard drive is pretty much the same also please keep in mind guys the seagate expansion portable hard drive does not have any built-in password protection so unlike the western digital my passport hard drive you cannot set a password to unlock the drive contents but that's okay because this is significantly less expensive than the wd hard drive at the time of purchase but if you want a hard drive with a built-in password protection you might want to pick something else this is just a simple plug and play hard drive and also this is a usb 3 hard drive so i do recommend that you plug this thing in into a usb 3 port in order to get the best performance possible and there is also a small activity led light over there that lights up blue once you plug in the hard drive and it blinks when the hard drive is in use and this is where the usb cable goes in and on the wd hard drive you have the activity led over here so that's another difference between these two all right, so I'm gonna plug the hard drive in into a USB 3.1 port. Even though this hard drive is USB 3, just gonna plug it into a USB 3.1 and you will see that light will come on. Now it does take about 10 seconds for this drive to spin up and show up on Windows. So don't freak out if you don't see this immediately in the Windows Explorer. And uh, there it is. That's the Seagate expansion hard drive. So I think screen recorder is a better idea rather than pointing the camera at the monitor. Okay, so this is our new hard drive, Seagate expansion drive, and you've got the drive logo here. So out of four terabytes, we have 3.68 terabytes of usable space. That is completely normal. This is the actual formatted capacity of a four terabyte hard drive. And inside we've got some preloaded stuff onto the drive so i recommend that you leave it on here no problem and you might want to register for your warranty by double clicking on this i have already registered my hard drive and i've already activated the warranty okay so now let us go ahead and do some file transfer speed test and see how the hard drive performs so on my desktop i've got some files over here got some documents got some music got some photos actually got a lot of photos 
and then we have some 4k videos so a total of 1256 files in 7 folders and the size is about 9.50 gigabytes so this will show us the write speed of the hard drive in case you're copying multiple files from your computer onto the portable hard drive and then we've got a large 11 gigabyte video file and this will show us the write speed of the hard drive in case you're copying one big file from your pc onto the portable hard drive okay so first off what i'm gonna do is drag and drop the folder that contains about 1200 files and that should give us the approximate write speed of the hard drive so just Control c and Control v and i've also got my stopwatch here and looks like we are getting about 30 megabytes per second and this should rise after we have finished copying all the music so yeah that's the thing when you are copying multiple files the speed does go down one thing though the hard drive has very minimal vibrations compared to my western digital hard drive this one is running silent so that one the western digital hard drive does have a fair bit of vibrations to it this one seems to run pretty silent so that's good and you guys can see we are now copying some photos and the speed has gone up to 70 megabytes per second and this is not mbps that is called megabits per second and this is megabytes per second and do keep in mind guys we are copying over from an nvme ssd so there are no limitations on the pc side this is the actual write speed of the hard drive And it's done so that actually took one minute and 59 seconds so you might want to count that as two minutes so two minutes to transfer about 9.50 gigabyte worth of files and we have 1256 files in seven folders so next up let us copy over this 11 gigabyte video file and we shall see what the write speed is like in case you're copying large files so it seems like we are getting about 130 megabytes per second this should drop a little bit once the cache fills up so it looks like we are sustaining 130 megabytes per second that is good quite impressive and that's it it took about 1 minute and 26 seconds quite impressive so for the next test we are going to copy the files from the portable hard drive onto the computer so that should show us the read speed of the hard drive and we are just going to speed through the video and i'll be keeping a track through my stopwatch again i'm just gonna drag and drop by the way i have restarted my computer so that there is nothing in the cache so yeah let's go I'm just going to drag and drop this into my C drive, hit the stopwatch and let's go. Take a look at the hat, 120, 130 megabytes per second and that is being sustained. And yeah, like I said, we are copying back onto an SSD so there are no speed limitation from the computer side. And let me show you. So this is the Seagate drive and this is our c drive so this is an ssd so when we were copying these files onto the portable hard drive the speed was a little bit slower but now it seems to be sustaining 135 megabytes per second awesome love it and we are done and it took about one minute and 12 seconds so half the time for copying these files back onto the pc and now i'm just gonna drag and drop this folder which has an 11 gigabyte video file let's go and once again you can see we are sustaining 137 megabytes per second so yeah all said and done i am quite impressed by the seagate expansion portable hard drive i think this makes a perfect backup hard drive to store all your data and we are done and it took one minute and 23 seconds to copy the large 11 gigabyte video file from the hard drive onto the computer so yeah file transfer speeds are pretty good on the seagate expansion portable hard drive okay so i have just dumped 125 gigs worth of video files onto the portable hard drive and it looks like we are sustaining a write speed of about 120 megabytes per second occasionally it will touch 130 megabytes and dip to 110 but yeah you 
you guys can see it's sustaining 120 plus so that is fairly good but the thing is we are copying from an ssd onto the hard drive so that's why this speed is so good if you have an internal mechanical hard drive on your computer you might see slightly less transfer speed but if you have an internal ssd drive and if you're using usb 3 port then you will see these kind of speeds on the seagate expansion hard drive and here are the results of the crystal disk mark 7 a lot of you guys want to see a result of crystal disk mark so here it is but I personally believe more in real life copy and paste performance that you get on Windows Explorer. Now even though the box does not say the drive is compatible with an Apple Mac, but the drive does work perfectly fine on an Apple MacBook Air and I can copy and paste files without having any issues. Now the drive is formatted in NTFS so it will also work with a PC and a Mac. But you will need to download and install a software called Paragon driver for macOS. So after installing this, giving it appropriate permissions, the drive will work perfectly fine cross-platform. Now if you want the drive to work without any software, so if you don't want to install Paragon driver for macOS, you will need to reformat the drive into Apple macOS compatible file system. And you can do that on your Mac, but then it won't work with a PC. So leave the drive formatted in NTFS and then you can download this NTFS for Mac from Seagate's website and the drive will work perfectly fine on a MacBook. Now coming to the software, there is really nothing that you need to install in order to use this hard drive. It's just a simple plug and play hard drive. Just plug it in into your PC and it will be ready for use. But if you want, you can download Seagate's toolkit and this is their backup software so i already have the seagate toolkit software installed and you can see i can see my hard drive over here you have the backup option restore option and mirror option so mirror will automatically keep your data synced but i kind of like to take my own backups manually so i don't think i'll be using this also please do keep in mind there is no hardware encryption or password protection on this hard drive it's a simple add-on storage for your PC. If you want a hard drive with hardware encryption and password protection, you will need to pick out a different hard drive. So this is a simple drag and drop storage expansion for your PC. Now coming to the next part, which is the bad sector scan. There is a software called C tools on Seagate's website. So download and install this. I'll include this link in the video description. So once you download and install, you will need to run C tools. It will take a while to initialize. Click on accept and you will see this screen. So this is my Seagate expansion hard drive. So we will select this. The next thing you need to do is point your mouse at basic tests and run long generic test. And this will perform a full sequential read on the hard drive. And it will check if there are any bad sectors on the hard drive. Now do keep in mind this will take a very long time because it will scan the entire drive for bad sectors. And I think this is very important if you have a new hard drive, you must scan for bad sectors. In case the hard drive has bad sectors, you can easily return the hard drive and get a new one. Let the program do its thing and when it's done, it should show pass over here. Alright, so it looks like the drive has passed the test and there are no bad sectors on the Seagate expansion portable hard drive. So now I can go ahead and dump all the important data on the drive. And this test took almost 11 hours to complete. So do keep that in mind, even though this thing is plugged in into a USB 3 port. For large capacity hard drives, it does take a fair bit of time to complete the test. But hey, the drive does not have any bad sectors, so I don't need to return this to the retailer. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for the review of the Seagate expansion portable hard drive. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. So guys, thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.